it is normal for our blood glucose to go up after eating. But the question is how much? Please allow me to explain. My name is Dr. Enin, doctorate pharmacist and a Feinstein medicine doctor. And again, welcome to the channel. The American Diabetes Association recommends that we stay on the 180 milligram per deciliter two hours after eating and I have a problem with this recommendation. See, the fasting blood glucose optimally ought to be between 60 and 85 milligram per deciliter. Even though in mainstream medicine, we recommend 100 milligram per deciliter. The problem is testing. Most diabetics and most people are educated, told to check their blood glucose two hours after eating. The purpose of testing our blood glucose is to see the impact of the food on our blood glucose and the higher the blood glucose the more damaging it is to our vascular space and to our body so when we are testing we want to know the highest peak and keep in mind the food that we eat most foods that we eat peaks in about 45 minutes to an hour so when you are testing at the two hour mark what we are in fact doing is checking when the blood glucose is down because typically in the real life setting when you have the time to check one hour and two hours after eating what you will see is that at the one hour mark you have higher numbers and at the two hour mark you have lower numbers and the purpose of the testing again is to find the impact of the food on your blood glucose so checking two hours is always a flawed approach so typically i tell my patients that if you have the time test one hour after eating and two hours after eating but ideally everybody should be testing their blood glucose at the one hour mark so what we are in fact doing is that when we are testing at the two hour mark we are not really seeing the impact of the food on our blood glucose and that was the purpose of the test so the best practice is to always test one hour after eating and the research clearly states that organ damage starts when our blood glucose stays for more than two hours at 140 milligram per deciliter so everybody whether diabetic or not or to have a blood sugar level at 140 or less postprandial one hour after eating so in the real world if you are staying between the optimal ranges of 60 and 85 and you are doing the right diet then in the one hour we shouldn't be going more than 140. the problem is most people will start at a bigger number because of their diet because of their chronic consumption of carbohydrates so their fasting glucose will already start out in the 180s in the 150s and of course they eat whatever they want to eat and it goes higher and some people they don't even check after eating they check their fasting glucose and that's it and that is why most diabetics continue to suffer the consequences of hyperglycemia so the best practice is usually to check your blood glucose after 8 a.m in the morning then once you're ready to eat you check again then one hour after you eat you check and this will give you a better idea of what you are doing to your body so everybody whether diabetic or not ought to have a goal of 140 milligram per deciliter or 7.8 millimoles and anything beyond this number will predispose you to target organ damage so the damage starts at the 140 mark so with the american diabetes association's recommendation what it means is that every diabetic is going to suffer the comorbidities of type 2 diabetes or diabetes and dr richard bernstein who is a type 1 diabetic and he's about 90 years old has done a fantastic job in this space he's type 1 diabetic but his blood glucose stays under 5.2 and his average blood glucose stays around 83 milligram per deciliter and he's type 1 diabetic because he is not consuming carbohydrates so it is practical it is doable for type 1 diabetics to stay under 5.2 so if type 1 diabetics can stay on the a1c of 5.2 then it is readily doable for the type 2 diabetic because you have some type of beta cell function type 1 diabetics don't have that so the goal of everyone whether diabetic or not ought to be 140 milligram per deciliter or 7.8 millimoles per liter one hour after eating and not two hours so because if you are at 140 milligram per deciliter at one hour mark then by the two hour mark it will be going down and that's what we want most diabetics because of wrong education and guidance start out blazing away with all the carbohydrates so they cannot even maintain a fasting glucose good enough for us to see these numbers so in summary 
or the take home should be this everyone should have a target blood glucose of 140 milligram per deciliter one hour after eating and not two hours and everybody should be testing one hour after eating and not two hours this will give a better glimpse of your metabolic health i know you have been told to be doing it in two hours and that is why you are suffering the consequences of diabetes or hyperglycemia and some people like i said clinically they have not been diagnosed with diabetes yet they are having the symptoms the nerve damage the tingling the numbness the eye issue i see a lot of cataract issues with a lot of people who are not clinically diabetics and cataract is a sugar problem it's sugar displaced on the lens of the eyes it doesn't matter if you are not diabetic but you are eating a lot of carbohydrates and you are causing sugar to be on the lens. So let's keep our blood glucose 140 milligram per deciliter or 7.8 millimoles per liter. And we should be checking within one hour after eating, not two hours. I hope this helps. Please don't forget to like, please don't forget to follow, and please don't forget to share. And most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.